Hello. Welcome back, as always. Uh, how you guys doing? That was, uh, Yellow Giant Reprise from the album In the Wake of Doshin the Giant. I wasn't fucking around when I said this, uh, game has fantastic music, especially the DD version. Uh, let's play Zelda game. A good Zelda game. Not Tears of the Mid. Lol. Sorry. A little too early to get started in that discourse, but, uh, we'll talk a little bit about it. I I've been doing some thinking about wrong tab. Here we go. Uh, I've been doing some thinking about that game, admittedly. And I got a lot to say. We're doing okie dokie. What's up, Wobulus? How's it going? How's it going, Pops? Douche? How are you guys? I hope you're well. I, for one, am doing pretty, pretty all right. Just, uh, really, I, I, I'm ready to, to play more of this game. I love this game. It's been on my mind a lot since I started, whoa. Oh yeah, it's one of the golden leaves. That's right, what we gotta do. Uh, I'm just chilling. What the fuck? That's Zelda. Yeah, that's her. I love that little, that little, that little green freak Zelda. This game might be, I, 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 you know, I'm conflicted because I like the remake a lot. I feel like the remake genuinely improves a lot on this game, but I really like the aesthetic and just the sound design of this classic version. So I'd say that a combination of this game and the remake are my favorite Zelda game. It's just perfect. It's so small, so compact, so simple, but that's all you need it to be. I think that, uh, really I've just been thinking a lot about what exactly I look for in a Zelda game. Like, why do I like this series, you know? And that's a, that's a loaded question, because fucking, there's so many different reasons to why you could like a Zelda game, because they're so different from one another. This looks really pretty, even though it's just a GBC game. Yeah, no, I totally agree. It's, uh... It's on another level, how they were able to just cram everything into such a small little piece of hardware. And this game didn't even come out on the color originally, it came out on just original Game Boy. I stick with Pokemon Arceus and I like it a lot more than I thought I would. Hey, that's awesome! I was the one who was like, you should stick with it. So I'm glad that it didn't like end up wasting your time. That makes me happy. Did y'all enjoy the Sneeple invasion? Oh, fuck. Yeah, I'm gonna have to show that, uh, later. <laughs> Pops. It was very funny. Uh, I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. So, oh, wait, do you just fucking use the pot here? Like, throw it against the... Yeah, okay. Oracle of Season and Angie's were also GBC. Those look pretty, too. And I think I like this one more. I the Oracle games are great. Don't get me wrong, I like the Oracle games a, a decent amount. Uh, they do not hold a candle to a Link's Awakening, in my opinion. Link's Awakening is like a perfect little self-contained video game. And that is precisely why I like it. Okay, I think there's some gold leaves outside, maybe? That's all I can think of. Sonic Frontiers is greater than Pokemon Legends Arceus is greater than Tears of the Kingdom. Damn. Sonic Frontiers that good? I'll be the judge of that. I'm gonna play it. I I, I bought uh Frontiers in a Steam sale, guys, so I could play it at any point. I'm not ready to play it just yet, you know? I uh I, I think that, that would be a fun stream game to play. Uh but I don't you know, I'm just I'm I've I've a little bit sonicked out after playing Adventure just recently, so I'm gonna wait at least a little bit. You know, I'll play the remake right now. Do it! I, if you've never played this game, I feel like playing the, like, the original version would, uh, maybe be a little bit, uh, a little dated in some places to make it fun for anybody to pick it up. But I think the remake is, like, the perfect, uh, just, like, it made it very accessible for anybody to enjoy this game. And I, I, I really, I really appreciate that aspect. Okay, so... I'm pretty sure the other two leaves are, like, not actually in the place itself. There's, like, the outskirts here. 
Maybe I'm wrong. Frontiers is okay. They've definitely done things to make it better, though. I'm kind of glad I waited, because it seems like, yeah, they're making a bunch of shit uh, that improves it, kind of. So, we'll see. Bird, do you have anything? Oh, you're gone. I don't... Truthfully, I don't know where the, these last two leaves are, because it's five of them, right? You gotta get five golden leaves. Look, I, you might have something. No, okay. Update two improves the game tenfold. Damn, really? Okay. Oh shit, it's over. Wait, no, I got the, the special lotion the other day, so I'm like not, I'm not dead. It's actually quite not fucked up of me. Fuck. Okay, but I'm gonna be dead if I don't. Like that. It's like whack-a-mole. Oh shit. God damn it. If you leave the... Okay. Dude. Dude, 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 dude. Don't do this. Okay. Oh, fucking... Okay. That's fine. Uh... Link's Awakening, yeah. I wonder what, what's being awoken right now. Link's Awakening. I think I made that joke last time. I'm not- I'm not creative. I don't got any- a creative bone in my body. Okay. Dude! Okay. Where are you? Got him. There's one. Okay, now I just need one more. Uh... You're gonna be dead as fuck. Rope? Bombs? Hey, you know what I want to see in my lifetime? I fucking think that Morshoe should be- they should buy back the rights to Morshoe. This is my real- my real feelings. I think that Morshoe should be in a real Zelda game. And I- cause I think he's a actually great character. I think he's a-, a like an incredible character, in fact. He- he is- is lovable. Not just in an ironic sense, he is just a very, like, memorable, like, likable character. I think that he would be right at home in Zelda as, like, a wacky merchant character. He's- he- he embodies the spirit of a- of a Zelda merchant so well that Nintendo should just buy back the rights and use him. I want this to happen. Well, you- bird, are you gonna- Oh, that's how you do it. There's the golden leaf. Okay. So, d now that I have these, do I just, like, go back to, uh, the prince? I'm pretty sure that's what I do. What do you mean real Zelda games? Are the CDI games not real? No, they are. Uh, they're just very special. Okay. <laughs> they will never be real games. Now, I never said that. I never- I, th you're putting words into the mouth of, of- of thousands who adore those games. I think that in spirit they are Zelda games. Much like how the, uh, the original 1994 Mario movie is a Mario Bros. game. I want to- the king to explicitly be King Harkinian to- literally! No, you get it. Like, I think that King Harkinian in Morshu should return. And I think that they should just play it straight. They should just use these characters and make them likable. Like, they already are likable, but just make them utilize the, the bones that are in those games and turn them into great characters in their own right. Sonic 06 NPCs after saying exactly one word. <laughs> I feel like I've been playing the wrong 2D Zeldas. Give me recommendations. Okay, A Link Between Worlds, Link's Awakening, or Link's Awakening Remake. Uh, Oracle games are great. Minish Cap, I I'd say Minish Cap is close to the top. If there were two that I'd say that you probably haven't played, it's uh, Link Between Worlds and Minish Cap. Those are the two that I recommend. Those are great games. I don't even want dinner jokes. J literally, just use the character. Yeah, Gray gets it. Gray and Ch Gray encounter in chat gets fucking has the biggest brain imaginable. I got your leaves, dude. Wait, no, I don't. Hey, what the hell? Hey, what the hell? I had five leaves. Did I not? Okay, like 
I mu must have not saved the progress of one of those leaves I got, so I gotta go back. Okay. But yeah, what have you guys been up to? How's it going? Pocket pale. <laughs> Lol. Isn't Link Between Worlds the grand return of 2D Zelda? In a sense, yes. I mean, what's fucked up about Link Between Worlds is that they made, like, a new kind of original 2D Zelda, and then they just never really did again. Haven't haven't made, made a new Zelda game in a decade, and even then, even then, A Link Between Worlds is great. It's fantastic. It's arguably the, the better way to play A Link to the Past, uh... At least it's map, you know? It's it's a different game from Link to the Past, but it's more fun than A Link to the Past, in my opinion. Uh, but even after doing that, they just didn't... They, they fucked off. Since 2013, we've just gotten a remake of A, Link, a Link's Awakening, and that's it. It's, it's kind of sad, because, like, I think... I've always felt like 2D Zelda is king. I love 2D Zelda, and I think we need more of it. We need more of that shit in our lives. I don't like Link to the Past. You know what? Me neither. Me neither, Wubbulous. It's it's an iconic game. It's very formative to the series, you know? Like, it's important and all that, but uh, not that fun. Not that fun to play. I mean, same with Zelda 1 and Zelda 2, admittedly, for me. I'm, I'm just not that into the classic trilogy of Zeldas. Just don't do that much for me. So what am I doing here? There was a leaf, but I don't know what happened to said leaf. Did I- is it the one that's in this room? Right here? Fuck you. There was like one that dropped here. I'm going to go crazy if I don't- okay. Well, it's not here. Where the fuck is it? Um... I'm, uh, this is strange. Okay, I draw, there was a button, right? I pressed the button. Did that affect something up here, I wonder? I have no idea. I wonder what's for dinner. What, what the fuck actually changed? Hang on. This seems off. I, I collected five. Am I crazy? Did you guys not see me collect five of these feathers? I'm going to look this up. Link's Awakening Gold Feathers. Is it maybe because I, I died? It might have been because I died. Let's see. Uh. Okay. Uh, gold leaf, the star thing, some peculiar holes, bomb throwing enemy, yes, got that one. Uh, the crow, got that one. Link went into the castle, uh, gold leaf, okay. Stepped on the button and heard the heavy doors in the front of the castle open. Okay. Fourth golden leaf, where's the third one? That was the third one. Fourth one was... Oh, fuck. Wait, you, you gotta bomb the walls? There's no indication of that. See, this is another thing uh, that the old games, or this game has, is that I don't think that there's a crack in the wall here. There was in the, the remake. Yeah, that's right. If you go... Okay. I believe if you go up here and over... This is a little obtuse. You do this. Hey, Wendy, I saw your tweet and true. Yeah, we're gonna get into it. Guys... Man, Tears of the Kingdom, huh? And I bet you're thinking, oh yes, of course, Tears of the Kingdom. What a great game. You're wrong. Wrong? No. That's not what I was gonna say. That game... I, just the more I've sat on it... Uh, there's the fifth week. Uh, now we can go talk to Richie. The more I've sat upon that game... That game is sat upon my- sat inside of my ass. I... Do not find it very pleasurable. I just... I think about 
going back to playing it, and it just makes me a little sad. It makes me feel strange. Like, I even, I, I, I had a point where I, I was like, I kind of had to acknowledge, like, it's a good game. It's a good game, and you know, on a, on a fundamental level, maybe it is. It, it is a well-made game. A very well, well-developed, well-designed video game. But it just, it is such a far, like, playing this game and playing that game are just such night and day experiences. This, to me, feels like what Zelda is. It's a little, you know, it's, it's a little old, a little slow. But it still embodies the sort of, the sort of triumphant, like, curiosity of these games so much more than those games that you just aimlessly wander in those games and for for what like you know for rewards that don't actually have that much of an impact on the choices and the the things you do the things you accomplish you know you just it's just an endless list of laundry list of things to do and none of them are actually like good rewards I've started playing. Oh, hell yeah. Is that Link's, Link's Awakening? Good luck. I'm having fun with it, but it's not really Zelda to me. Yeah, exactly. It's like a fun game. It's an enjoyable game, but the what Zelda, I think, did, did so well, even in the 3D outings that I don't care for as much, like, is that there was always a clear-cut progression and a, and, a, and a permanent progression. And Tears of the Kingdom has some progressive elements don't get me wrong there's still some things that like do you do get that are objective improvements but the item system in these in the classic zelda games the way in which you get new arsenal of tools at a, at a very steady rate you're constantly getting new things that open up the map the the scope of the map being so much more compact but so much deeper it's just you know there's just so much about this game that despite being a fucking Game Boy game, has more depth. What did he say? I see you have recovered all of the leaves. Now move this box and you will find your reward. Oh, okay. Sorry, buddy. Okay, no, no, no. I got it. Second stranding type Zelda game. <laughs> yeah, it's a strand game. That's what the genre is. Just like Norman Reedus. I didn't mean to explode you, man. That was my bad. Open world games need to metroid their areas towards an order so you can actually like make progress across playing it, and that is a minimum. Or do more organized quests and have quest lines as the primary forward drive. I agree. I was thinking about it. You know, I was just thinking about how open that game is. And I think one of the largest problems with having like it's almost it sounds like it's too good to be true when you think about, oh, this is a game where you can do anything in any order. But I think that giving the player that much freedom is actually like a uh, like a double-edged sword. Sure, it, it gives you more options in how your a gameplay experience can be. The you know people experience things in different orders. People do things in different ways. But that just means that the actual design of the gameplay itself is a lot has to has to account for these things and ends up becoming a lot less shallow in the process. Like, I think about how every wall in that game is climbable. And, you know, you can you can brute force your way anywhere, pretty much. But that doesn't necessarily mean that those brute forcing elements are fun in themselves. That, like, maybe, it, maybe you will feel rewarded because, like, oh, I fucking broke the game in a weird way. That's kind of fun. But it doesn't actually, it, it, like, the, that doesn't improve the quality of the gameplay itself. If anything, it just complicates it, you know? I don't think I can kill that thing yet. I gotta need- I think I need a hammer. Um, oh yeah, this fucking place. There's also a, a piece of heart around here. I- I believe so. You can do anything in any order. Oh, okay, so the game is not going to be challenging. Yeah, exactly. Like, there's just so much that complicates it. Like, it-, it it's not the answer. And I, I feel like- that's kind of what every game developer has been shooting to the sun and back for. They want to give you more and more and more choices. And it, it, to me, that just that seems counterintuitive because what makes video games so well designed and so so good, what has made games so good is how how good design works. It feels like they're trying 
to negate like level design and like intentional design entirely in the in the current game dev landscape i i, I we need more tightly developed like smaller video games again it's just we've gotten way too big everything's gotten way too big everything's gotten way too ambitious and none of it has any depth anymore i i don't know like i, I don't mean to paint with a broad brush i'm a little jaded about the current games industry to be completely honest so I'm not really the best, uh, person in terms of my opinions, uh, but even still, I just, I don't know, I think that there was a simplicity that the original Zeldas and many other classic games that have been evolved as time goes on through franchises, through, you know, the need to, to make something open world, open-ended, that sort of thing, that it, that gets a little bit lost in this, this philosophy that's permeating all, all game development. I don't know. I just, I really hope that the trends will change soon, because I'm quite sick of game where you can do anything. I want more game where you do something really, really well over and over again, and it never gets boring. Sonic is the only game series I know that can thread the fine line between player autonomy and intentional game design. See, I don't... I'm gonna be real, I'm not that much of a Sonic head. I like, I like some Sonic games, but I feel like Sonic... Sonic being the leader of any game design discussion is a little, a little funny to me, personally. Oh yeah, I gotta dig this up. I like, I, I think that there's some, something respectable about the Genesis games. They got that sort of, like, risk and reward. They got the upper paths and the lower paths, you know? The speed, uh, the, the replayability of it. There's a lot to admire about classic Sonic, but I don't necessarily know if anything past those games or that revolutionary adventure was was getting somewhere but they never really quite got it i think like they never got it to a place where it was great just just good just and it embodies the character well enough so it's not really a problem you know people people like sonic and sonic's a great character so it makes sense you know it's just i don't know i'm kind of talking out of my ass at this point Game where you can do anything should be, like, good RPG design. Make that anything into structured choices, not just fucking off. Yeah, that's a good point. You know, I I, I remember, uh... What's the fucking name of that game? Uh, Octopath Traveler. There was- that game, you could just fucking, like, talk to people. You could just steal from random people. And I always thought that was a fun concept for a game. And I, so I'm not- I'm not necessarily op opposed to open-endedness in video games entirely. I think it can work in a lot of cases, but I also think that people need, like, especially in a, in, a, in a series that is so revered as The Legend of Zelda, any any series, because they're all kind of evolving. It's almost like a second renaissance in that way. Like, there was the 3D renaissance where games had to completely change the way in which they were designed, and now it feels like the open-ended renaissance is what we're in the in the midst of. People are trying to, trying to make their games as, as open- and, you know, uh, just give, get, put the hands back into the freedom of the player. And while I respect the, the movement, I, I get the idea of it. It just, to me, it seems a little misguided. Did I get the key? I think I got the key, so. Everyone wants to be Breath of the Wild so bad. Yeah, and it's, like, kind of wild to me because Breath of the Wild isn't even that good. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm a hater. Uh, it's fine. It's a fine game. It was a really great proof of concept, I think, for a, for an open-ended Zelda. I feel like they were they were making some choices when when Breath of the Wild came out. It was clear it needed a lot of work. The formula was was very lacking in some ways. There they did some things very wrong. I think it had it, it was just not it didn't have enough that I liked about Zelda in it in its DNA. For it to really uh have worked for me but even still i saw the potential i i was like okay if they, the next zelda game they do i hope it's completely different i hope this this new zelda game is like genuinely unrecognizable from this one because i i think it's a it's a good start they they got crazy with it they really like shook up the formula now they need to like kind of rein it back in and remember what it is that people actually like about zelda what what is the core the core enjoyment of a zelda game 
What parts are inseparable from the formula? You know, that sort of thing. Those sort of questions, I don't think they asked that closely with Tears of the Kingdom. I think they just kind of, uh, were like, we need to fix Breath of the Wild. And I understand the desire to want to do that because Breath of the Wild is not a perfect game. But the DNA of Breath of the Wild was kind of broken from the start. There would have to be, like, for a game, like, a progression of this concept that they have they have made for themselves, it would have taken a lot more than just adding more content to an already bloated game. Its bloatedness was the problem in the first place. No Zelda game needs to be that large. No game needs to be that large, admittedly. I'm, I'm so sick of video games that are, that are like expected just 80 hours you're just gonna be playing it for 80 hours like unless it's like an open-ended like like sandbox game like an like an endless regenerate like randomly generated sort of thing like that I, I don't ever see a reason for a game's campaign and content to to be that to be that or like a multiplayer game you know there there are there are reasons for that sort of game to have that like for you to have that many hours in but i Truthfully, a truly great game, like a ga game that is so short and so well designed, I will put 80s hours into anyway. It, because you will want to replay it, is the thing. I feel like there's just been this desire to push more and more content into video games. And honestly, reasonably so. You know why? Because fucking people are s complaining all the time about, like... The fact that games just don't really have enough content to warrant buying them. You hear this argument all the time. You hear people being like, this game was only 10 hours. It wasn't worth $60. And like, okay, maybe, fair. I mean, it, it's it's an interesting conversation topic, right? Like, how much how much should a game of a certain length cost? How what, like how do you how do you quantify that sort of thing? But at the same time, it makes it so it's impossible to not be able to make any games that are not of that that length that m monumental length so people really feel like they're they're getting their the most out of it you know what i mean sorry i'm, I'm rambling at this point luigi's mansion peak literally literally adam gets it luigi's mansion is a seven hour game casually on your first time you can beat it in like a little over two at, at, if you've played it, if you know what you're doing it is infinitely replayable there is just not a limit to how many times you can replay that game and it still feel good it still feel you know just like worth it and i just you can't you can't make that same comparison to a game like breath of the wild once you once the mystery is gone once you've seen things once you've seen everything once you get an idea of what to expect from the game you're like okay so these are the same eight things that i'm doing the entire game it doesn't Hold up. You're never going to want to come back to it. And the only way that you're going to want to replay it is if it gets heavily remixed in a $60 uh, expansion. You know? I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm such a hater right now. I am so hater-pilled at the moment. I just learned that you can't move the spikes with your shield, right? Isn't that fun? This game just does so much with so little. You know, two buttons. Two buttons, a D-pad, start button, select button. That's all you got, and yet somehow, the movement and the inputs, the combat of, of this game, are just are just so chunky and good, just feels right. Everything, it, it's a bunch of small pieces that lock together to create something that's bigger than the sum of its parts. Whereas a game like Tears of the Kingdom is only the sum of its parts, you know? I just, I'm really happy to be playing this game, <laughs> if you couldn't tell. It, it's its kind of reminded me exactly why I love these games to begin with. They are truly wonderful little little sandboxes, little puzzle boxes of content. Like, and they, they just, oh fuck, I need more bombs. Okay, I can't fight you yet. I have 175 hours in Pizza Tower. It's like a five-hour game, and yet going for P ranks and racing people has just been so fun. The movement is so fluid. It's awkward to get hit used to it, but when you know what you're doing, you can finally play through it. Absolutely, Pizza Tower is fantastic. I uh, I I didn't I P ranked one level. 
I never got like super into it. I got I, I tried doing S ranks for a while, and I, I I got my fun pretty thoroughly out of Pizza Tower. You know, I I, I think, but like we need more games like it. We certainly do. It, it it's such a great example of what I'm ta of what we're talking about here, and that the tightly designed, super intentional level design. Every single corner of each level in that game is just it's meant to be. It's tweaked to be perfect. You you can't fuck up when you're doing a P rank. So it's designed so like literally everything chains together in, in a perfect smooth motion. I yeah no Pizza Tower is fantastic. Neon White Badass. That's what I need to play. I don't know if it would be my type of game. I I, I would like to to try it. But yeah no I I've also heard great things about Neon White. Warrior Land. Yep. You guys get it. You guys got good taste. I still want to play Warrior Land 4. That's, uh, that's on the list. I think I'm gonna start up Spectre of Torment after this. Uh, we'll, we'll do that. And, not, not tonight, obviously, just, like, that's, that's the series. Uh, I'm, I might be switching between Link's Awakening and Shovel Knight. Moving from here on out. We'll see, uh, how long they take. And then... I got a bunch of stuff planned. I want to do a, a Namco um, Museum Arcade Night. Because I, I kind of did a prototype of that in my, my Pac-Man World 2 stream at one point, And I think it would be really fun to do that again. I also got a few bonus games that, that people have recommended of that style. Celestine Pizza Tower took Sonic's Mastery and applied it to Mario and Wario form Elos. Interesting. See, I, I really, like... I don't give Sonic that much credit. I give it a, a a decent amount of credit, but I don't I don't necessarily know if Sonic is the benchmark for me of good game design. Sonic has some good ideas for sure, and I think games like Mania definitely improve upon that, uh, even further. But I don't know. One thing that I will say about Sonic is that it's clearly influenced a lot of people. Like that's the one thing is that there there is. Sonic has left a mark in terms of, like, developer influence. Like, indies love Sonic. It's just they, they, that is the bread and butter of, 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 of the indie scene, I want to say. But, like, even still, I, I, I don't know. I've just never cared that much for Sonic. I like Sonic, but I, I, I feel like the intentional, like, the more, the more conservative design, uh, philosophies of, like, Mario has always, has always been more appealing to me. Not, not conservative in, you know, that way, but, like, the other way. <laughs> Unfortunately, Sonic 3 is peak. I can't believe there hasn't been a better Sonic game since October of 1994. That's kind of about where I'm at, truthfully. I really like Sonic 3. I like Mania. Um, I don't think Sonic has done that much better. I mean, there are good Sonic games that I enjoy, especially as a, as a kid. I loved Sonic, but, like... There's just also so much that he just has dropped the ball over and over again. And I know that, like, people are tired of hearing that kind of shit about Sonic. People are a bit like, you know, Sonic sucks. Sonic was never been good. That kind of shit. But at the same time, I don't know. I do think that there is something to be said about the mistreatment of the, of a franchise. I think Sonic is a great example of a, of, of, a, of a company not understanding what fundamentally makes their own... IP appealing, you know? Like, most of what people like about Sonic has been has been nurtured by its own fan base. I, I genuinely think the fan base of Sonic keeps it alive better than the actual games or content do. Now that- I know the comics are good. I've heard- fucking goddammit. Are you kidding me? Wacky ass <laughs> rough 3D transition. Ah, uh, yeah, that's what everyone says. Sonic's had a rough transition into 3D. I don't disagree with you, though. I mean, I think it's like an over overstated thing, but it, uh, yeah, it was a pretty it was a pretty difficult transition. Except at the same time, though, it, it like wasn't, you know, because Adventure was such a they nailed it for a first 3D game for Sonic. They they just they killed it, right? They really like just made it work. And then they were just like, let's never do that again. Let's make a sequel to that and then never, never do it again. Goodbye. 
Let's just try something different. They they, they throw the baby out with the bathwater every single time. You know? Okay. I'm I'm taking my hater glasses off. Truthfully. <laughs> I've been I've been in rant mode for the past like 30 minutes. It's already been 37 minutes. Are you serious? Good god. Time flies when you're fucking when you're angry. When you can't stand video games. I hate all video games. Wendy kind of cringe at this game. Yeah, I'm not good at video games, which is why you shouldn't take my opinion seriously. On anything. You can just say that I'm bad. You can just be like, Wendy bad. And then you can move on with your day. And not feel like I anything I, I said actually matters. You know? What do you think about the looming shadow over the game industry? That's Crash Bandicoot. That's what I think it uh, about it. I think that's Crash Bandicoot. The shadow is Crash Bandicoot. People are always like, it's not Crash Bandicoot, Wendy. It's not. But it's Crash. I think it's him. I think it's Crash Bandicoot. SA1 was so good, but not quite completely refined. SA2 kind of waters it down a little. Heroes kind of does its own thing. After 6, they threw it out because they fucked up so bad. That's the thing. It was their own damn fault they fucked up their perfect formula. They could have built on that for years. For literal years. And they just... They didn't. They were like, oh, we made a bad game. So it was clearly the formula's fault. It's not our fault. We're not gonna... We're not gonna examine how this went wrong. We're just... We are just going to not do that anymore. It's so... It's so daft. I don't know. Who is Crash Bandicoot? Uh, it's better- you're better off no not knowing the answer to that question. What the fuck? This dude sucks. I hate- I hate this Ochi looking motherfucker. What's his deal? I need- I need to kill him. So I get key. Fuck. I am kinda ass at this game. Get good. God damn it. <laughs> True. Same thing happened with the boost games. Unleash had something really good. Card colors water down. Generations brings it back a bit. Uh, Lost Worlds and Forces was dog shit. They threw that out too. Yeah, no, I mean, because Forces was bad, they were just like, no more boost games. In the case of that, it seems like they might have actually made the right choice from what I've heard. People like Frontiers, you know. I, I think that the boost formula was not nearly as- didn't have quite have the longevity that the adventure formula did in IMHO. Good god. Um, like, Forces was very much a, uh, it, it was- it was a huge, huge step in the wrong direction- or, or not in the wrong- in the same direction. It was very safe, and it didn't- and it effectively did nothing. It accomplished nothing, you know? God damn it, dude. Oh, fuck. Is this where I'm gonna start to realize that maybe playing Link's Awakening original is not going to be fun for me? Uh-oh. I was just talking about how much I like this game, but I can't even play it. <laughs> God damn it. I like the remake, okay? I like the remake. This game is still really, really important to me, but, uh... I feel like the remake definitely makes it a much more tolerable experience overall. I also do not, like, have any extra hearts. I, uh... I've been pretty bad about getting stuff in the overworld. Because I just don't got shit at the moment. No items. Crash Twin, Twin Sanity is so good, though. I like Crash. I like, uh... I like the original trilogy. I like, uh... Is Twin Sanity the one where where, where Cortex and, and Crash are like are, are hooked together on a little little wall? Or not a wall, little rope. I like that. That guy that game is funny. Uh Crash 4 was really good too. I played that. Uh I, n I never beated it. Beat beated it. I I'm, I'm speaking like a baby right now. Uh but it was pretty good. I like I liked it. I I, I don't know. I, I like Crash a lot. I don't really have like much of a attachment to Crash, but I, I I do like his games a good a good amount. I haven't played the fucking. Did you guys hear about the Crash like MOBA or whatever that they that they've made? I'm I'm curious about that. I wonder if it's any good. Did I get it? Thank God. Good Lord. Okay, there we go. 
Donkey Kong has some of the best 2D platformers to ever gra grace this earth. That's so true, though. DK? DKC is incredible. Fucking Tropical Freeze is probably my favorite. But, but I really like the classic games as well. They're great. Donkey Kong has great games. I kind of wish we got a third uh, modern Donkey Kong game, truthfully. But it's too late for that now, at this point. Let's see. Okay, I got a small key. I don't got the, the beak at the moment. These fucking things. I hate these things. I have, like, no bombs, too. How are you supposed to get bombs here? Are you just expected to, like, buy a bunch of bombs at the fucking... The, uh... At, at the shop? Is that the idea? Because I haven't seen a single bomb drop. Bombs? Fuck. Fuck these things. They're... Stupid. I don't like them. God damn it. Oh. Dude. <laughs> okay. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. I mean, other than just fucking hope I get lucky. Damn, dude. They're so quick. I genuinely think it's the bombs. I gotta throw the bombs, but I don't have bombs. Bombs? Okay. There's a lot of Sonic discussion in chat right now. <laughs> okay. Hmm. I don't like this guy. Oh, there we go. Hmm. Where do I get bombs? I don't know. I, m I might genuinely have to leave the dungeon. That's the only thing I can think of. I remember you were able to get bombs and shit in the, like, the pots, but it doesn't seem like you're able to in this one. Oh, what? Okay, I'm a liar. You don't get that many, but you do get them. Can I just, like, grind this? I don't think that's how that works. Yeah, no, absolutely not. this. Okay. Yeah, this game is definitely not perfect on, uh, on Game Boy. I had a lot of, a lot of nostalgia going in, so I, I very much, like, kind of pictured it in my head as, like, the perfect video game. And the superior one to play for stream, but honestly, maybe the Switch one would have been the better choice in retrospect. Even still, I'll stick with it, because it's fucking Link's Awakening, you know? <laughs> People are still talking about Sonic. I didn't mean to start a Sonic, a, a big Sonic debate in chat. There's the compass. Okay, I gotta do this again. That's cool. What do you guys want? You guys are very strange. I don't know if I like you guys. Okay. All I do is talk about Sonic. I'm very annoying. That's okay. I'm also very annoying. Did you guys hear what I was saying about Zelda? Did you hear? That was pretty annoying.
I will never in my life play a Sonic game. Honestly, that's based. That's very based of you. I only play Shadow the Hedgehog. Yeah, that's not a Sonic game. That's a Shadow game. Fuck, here again. I don't want to be this. I don't want to fight them. I don't got the bombs for it. Okay. Um. I think I'm just going to need to go to the fucking store or something. Which would be a pain in the ass to have to trek across the map for that. But uh, I can't think of any... Yeah, I'm just doing that. Fuck it. Okay. Let's go. Luckily, it's actually not that far. Because the prairie is just by the, the town. I also got a decent amount of rupees, so we're, we're set. I'm gonna buy a bunch. Oh shit, the bow? I, I forgot that you have to buy the bow. That might be handy, honestly, but I don't got the money for that. Gotta reset the damn shop every time. Here you go. Tales Adventure? <laughs> okay. Let's talk about something, something, uh, not, not, not fueled by haterade. What'd you guys have for dinner? Anything fun? Are you eating dinner right now? Am I, it, are, it might be around dinner time for you. I have yet to eat dinner. I think we're, we're having pasta. It's pasta with mushrooms. Wait, hey, what? Did he say that, like, I can't carry more? Is, is 20 the limit? Or 30 the limit, I guess? Ay caramba, kid. You have a lot to learn trying to buy something you have no use for. Okay. Goodbye. I got bombs now. Bombs? I had some salad. Salad's yummy. I like I like a good salad. I had crabs, the guilt. Oh yes, we were talking about this. The it, it is a little bit fucked up to eat a crab, you gotta fucking tear it uh limb from limb. Got to tear off its arms and crack into its 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 shell, and slurp the meat out. It, it's kind of fucked up. It is a little fucked up. However, I personally see them in my mind. They're kind of just like big water bugs. I like them, but I don't feel like that bad about it. Seafood in general, I I feel a little less bad about like compared to red meat. Eating red meat is just kind of it. Kind of makes me feel like I'm eating people when I eat red meat, but, uh, when it comes to seafood, I, I have a lot less, uh, remorse for it. It's still, like, a living thing, but it's also, I don't know, it's different. The crabs are dead, so it makes them morally okay. Does it? Is that, is that where, the, how that works? Oh, yeah, I can't go there yet. Okay, now that I got bombs, I'm, like, I can fi finally actually fight this thing. I hate this room, in particular, with the fucking bombs that go everywhere. This is the room where we get the, uh, the Pegasus boots, I believe, so that's good. Or the, the dungeon, rather. I don't know how useful the Pegasus boots are in this, uh, this version of the game where, like, you move screen to screen. In the remake, they actually are quite handy because the, the whole overworld is, like... There's, there's, they removed the, the screen, the screen transitions on the overworld for the remake. And I think that's a great, a great improvement. There's just a lot of small stuff like that in the, uh, in the remake that I really like. If anything, playing through this, this version has made me appreciate what the remake does a lot more. Okay. Let's see here. I could throw the bombs across. That's what I'm... 
Okay. Like, yeah, what if I do this? Like that. Yeah, that's what you're supposed to do. Duh. Seems like a little bit of a waste of bombs, though, but... What else are you supposed to do? Easy. I'm kind of half watching the stream right now because I also wanted to stream this in the nearest future. That's fair. Yeah, no, do, do what you wanna. It's a great game. I'd say though, if you've never played this game, I already said this to uh, someone in chat, but if, if you've never played this game, you really just play the remake. Like this, there's a lot of there's a lot of personality to this uh, to this version of the game. But I, I'd say it is it is not peak. Peak is I will always pick quality of life over personality personally. Some people are the opposite. Some people like the crust. Some people like like games to be a little bit more uh, a little a little more soulful, and I get it. But at the same time, I, I just, I don't know. I like a game that plays well. Okay, let's go fight the fucking guy. I think it depends on the game for me. That's also true. I can't think of a case where it is like, where it's not like I prefer the, the more refined version. I'm trying to think of, a, of, of an example like that. You're gonna do a Nuzlocke after Donkey Kong? That's cool. Would you consider Link's Awakening the best 2D Zelda? I think so, yeah. I think for me it is a tie between Link's Awakening and A Link Between Worlds. Honestly, maybe A Link Between Worlds beats it out a little more. But Link Between Worlds- or Link's Awakening is pretty fucking close. I like Link's Awakening because of its simplicity. I think it is a very, it is a very no frills game in the best possible way. Okay. Can't be wasting these bombs. Come on. Dude. Oh my god. These guys. There you go. Okay, here we go, here we go. for it. There we go. I didn't mean to- that's fine then. I love these things, they're weird animals. That's one- one word for them. I don't really know what they're supposed to be, you know? Weird animals is pretty accurate, I'd say. Oh shit! Look at that! We got Pegasus boots. Another thing that uh, Link Between Link's Awakening remake did is that the Pegasus boots are also just like the L button, I believe. Pretty handy. Uh, let's see. So now I can. What do I need to do? I got one key. What's down here? All oh, right, I can I can cross this with the Pegasus boots now. There's also a bomb, bombable wall here. I think this is just a fairy fountain, I want to say, but... They're Dodongos, which is weird since they're usually done. That's what a Dodongo is? Those are considered Dodongos? Is that canon? I've never considered this. Oh fuck, watch this. This is cool. You can fucking jump. You can do a big jump when you got both of them. 
This is the best shit ever. I love I love being able to combine Zelda Zelda uh, shit together like that. Items and, and shit like that's my favorite thing about Zelda games. Look at that. That was so fun. Big jump. Dude, how long is this like fucking defense acorn gonna gonna sh keep going? It's kind of it's kind of been going for a crazy long time. I didn't mean to come in here. Goodbye. They're not called brats. What are? Wh why are we talking about frauding? Why are we talking about frauding, chat? We can. Do, I'm, I'd be happy to talk about frauding, but why are we talking about it? Oh fuck! I need a lot of keys. Okay, got it. The creatures in Tears of the Kingdom are called frauds. I'm sorry. They knew what they were doing. They knew what they were doing when they when they made that. These guys are kind of the worst. Okay. Bitch. <laughs> yeah, the frots. Oh, they're called frocks. Well, they still knew what they were doing. Ain't frocking what the fucking guys who like oil do? Ain't that what oil barons do? If there's anything I know about oil barons is that they love frotting. Fuck. Okay. Do I even have the map? I do not. Very cool. Oh, but I can go in here because I got I got big boots. I got big boobs. <laughs> Lol, what if it was called the Pegasus boobs? And <laughs> well, I think you can figure it out on your own. God damn it. Dude, what am I what am I doing wrong here? What am I doing wrong? What the hell? Aren't you supposed to just Okay. Clearly that's not it. Is it bombs? Bombs? Can you uh like that? No. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Maybe, maybe combination of the two? Oh, here we go. Okay. Goodbye. Don't go into the pit, you just time it. I be fracking, frocking, fording, and frauding every day. The four Fs. That's correct. Okay, uh... Making some progress here. At least when you die, these dungeons aren't, like, huge and confusing. Yeah, I know, I agree. I feel like... That's why, the, for the most part, even though it can be a little bit antiquated and frustrating in a few places, for the most part, it's not, like, bothering me. I can probably... I, I can definitely get through this game because of how, how small the dungeons are, relatively. You know? And it saves progress. Like, when you get a key, you don't have to get that key anymore. You know, it's, it's shit like that that's handy. I just don't really know where I'm supposed to be going now. I went through here, but what was over here even? Oh, there's still there's still a chest there, so clearly I didn't I think I died before I could have. Damn it. What are these guys called? Are they I I I think that these guys should be frauds. These are the frauders. Uh-oh.
You have the boss key so you can kill whenever you wish. That is true. Well, I, I, the problem is that I need a couple different small keys is the issue. Okay, there's that. So I have to kill them. Uh-oh. Okay, God. God almighty, please, please let me win. I don't want to deal with this bomb guy. Okay. Okay, here we go. They look like dorks. Rude. Fuck! Dude! Bitch. You're a bitch. You're a little bitch. You're a little bitch. Is what you are. Okay. I know what I gotta do. Not to say dorks can't rot. What are you on about? <laughs> this has been a fucking crazy stream. I, like, I feel like there's usually some kind of, like, conversational through line of my streams, but it just, like, it feels like every everything is off. Everything is completely out of, out of whack. And I'm here for it. This is not an audience-friendly stream. This is not a stream for the audience. It's a stream for me. I be frauding every day. Through the... You know, this... I feel like this is entirely baseless, but it looks like there would be a- there would be a bombable wall here. I don't know why. Okay, I was just- I'm- I'm fucking insane. I'm a lunatic, in fact. Okay. There we go. I'd be farting. <laughs> cool. Very cool. <sighs> okay. So. Alright, I, I go here. I get a big chest. Oh, it's just rupees. Okay. Very nice, says Borat. Oh, wait, does this stay? I don't think that stays the way it does, so I'm just not gonna bother with it for right now. It's like a one-way thing. Just got the rocks feather. That was fast. Good. Look at you. Damn. Uh, how do I get down there? Oh, fuck. Wait. Okay, right. I gotta... I gotta go around. That makes sense. Because there's a secret wall there. That's right. That's kind of fun puzzle design. I, I like that shit. It's very simple, but it's effective. Bitch. You can kind of, like, moonwalk more in this game than I thought you could. There's, like, a lot of moonwalking. It's interesting. So, where am I going here? I don't think I can go that way. Is it is it up and around? I think it's this way. Wendy, how do you address the cuck phobia in your Link in Sidon tweet? Oh my god. Yeah, okay. <laughs> this needs context. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me pull it up. Cuck phobia. That's very funny. That's a funny way to uh, phrase it. So I, I made a... I, it was a very simple, simple tweet that I made. Okay, are you following? Are you following so far? That's what happens. That's all I posted. And I, I just thought it was funny. I thought it was hilarious. I thought about this while I'm in the doctor, at the doctor the other day, and I was like, that's hilarious. I, I'm making that. And now people, people are like, <laughs> people are making accusations of me like, like, oh my god, poly, polyamorous people exist. D why not just make them polyamorous? What is wrong with you? 
Like, they, they were talking to me like I was the one with the cock fetish. And, you know, it does uh, we're not gonna talk about if I, if, if I am or aren't. We're not gonna talk about that. But, <laughs> I was, I was not making a dig at polyamorous people, I promise you. I wasn't trying to erase polyamorous people, I promise you. I was, I just thought it was funny. I just thought it was funny. That's all. Cuck phobic. I'm gonna use that. I can weaponize this. I can, uh, I can make them, make them sorry for, for bullying me like this. They, they aren't bullying you. There's like two people, for the record. <laughs> Deflecting. Maybe so. NTR guys are so oppressed. God damn it. Uh-oh. This is, this is looking bad for me. I'm gonna... <laughs> I want to be seen as the NTR woman on Twitter now. This is going to be like what I'm known for. Oh, fuck. So how many keys do I got? Do I got enough to fight the ball? I got three, yeah. I'm pretty sure you just need the three to, to fight him. Is that so bad, though, you're already the Fujoshi woman? I guess so. I guess. Yeah, just throw another word onto the pile. Another buzzword. Why not? Tanuki Tales is the Fujoshi NTR fraught woman. Please, please do not interact with her. She is a huge red flag. Being a Fujoshi is way more dignified. Agreed. Yeah, that is that is pretty dignified. I'm actually quite. I have. I'm. I am pr prideful of my Fujoshi heritage. Okay, you want to know some fucking? Okay, I was talking to my mom the other day. It, like she, I, I called her on the phone, and <laughs> you want to know some fucked up shit. So she was just like we were FaceTiming. Uh, my boyfriend was also there, just in the room. And she, like, would not stop talking, telling him how attractive he was. Just over and over again, she was just like, You are so attractive. You are literally the most handsome man I have ever seen. Just over and over again. She did this for, like, a good 15 minutes. I'm not kidding. And then she starts talking to my boyfriend about, like, Yeah, yeah, we need to go to gay bars together. We need to go to gay bars. I, see, I don't do lesbian shit. This is her. This is what she's saying. I don't do lesbian shit, but I love gay men. I love gay men. And in that moment, uh, I think I think some some of the, the pieces started to fall into place a little bit about where I got this, where I got my fucking yaoi fixation from. I think my mom might also be a Fujoshi a little bit. Fujoshi from mother to daughter. Yeah, it was inherited. An inherited trait. Uh... I don't- I don't know why that happened. You gotta tell her what a Fujoshi is now. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm not- I'm not telling my mom what a Fujoshi is. That's just a bad idea. Also, are you a Fujoshi if you like- if you only- if you only like real life gay men, do you have? Does it have to be fictional gay men to be a Fujoshi? I don't think it does. I just, you know, I think it's worth it's worth asking that question. You know, would my mom be be a Fujoshi technically? What is the technicality of this, Barry? Oh fuck! Right, Barry's on vacation right now. Barry can't answer this for me. Okay, I gotta use a bomb. Show your mom Yaoi. I'm not going to! I'm not showing my mom Yaoi. That seems like a bad idea. Yeah, I'm just gonna be like, yeah, mom, this is what I this is what I spend my time doing all day instead of getting a job. Reading just fucking like anime boys kissing and doing other unspeakable things. Uh, yes, that's this is how I spend my time. Don't you like it? Don't you like it, Mom? That seems like the worst way to bond with my mother. I don't think she would she would like that at all. I think she would not enjoy this. 
Okay, it's boss time. But wait, why why another key? Neener Neener. You can't find me. Nya nya. Neener Neener? Okay. Pretty cool. I like this guy already. What if she already knew what a Fujoshi was? It's possible. Maybe that's what she was referring to. Oh, right, 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 right. You gotta, you gotta, like... Do this. You gotta do this, right? And then you gotta, you gotta... Like that. There you go. Fuck. Okay. I know what I gotta do. Oh, shit. The Neener fight. The iconic Neener fight. Okay. Where are we? We go... Where, where was the boss? I, uh... Okay, it's on this floor. Is it just... How the fuck do I get over there again? Oh, wait, right. Duh. You go, you go up here. The iconic Zelda villain Neener. Yeah. But yeah, that's what I did the other day. I went to a doctor's appointment. I talked to my mom. I thought a lot about Tears of the Kingdom. And... Oh, I, I hung out with friends. But that's, you know, what else is new? I always do that. I'm so sociable. Everybody loves me. I gotta kill all these motherfuckers to advance? That's... that's Bullshit, but I can do that. I can do it easy. Piranha. True. Crazy how there's a piranha plant in this game. Yeah. That's why I like it, baby. This game's um, Zelda for Mario fans. If you like Mario, well, I got good news. This Zelda game is gonna be right up your alley. Uh, okay. Sorry, I'm I'm fucking cracking my neck and my fingers. Ooh, stretching. Gotta get ready. Okay, let's go. Oh fuck! This guy's. Okay, I, I need to get the fucking rock's feather out now, I guess. Oh god, you stay the fuck away from me, dude. Okay, okay, okay. Did I do it? Was it that easy? No way, right? Oh my god. Okay, I'll take it. I'll fucking take it, though. Good god. Look at that. Barely even an hour in and another dungeon. Not bad at all. I'm, I'm happy with that. You gonna get the Mario RPG remake? Of course I am. Wendy is so sociable and will not play Connect 4 with me. Gray, when have you ever invited me to play Connect 4 with you? I will. I will do this. Just just slide into my DMs and, and we will play. Uh, but yes, the answer is yes. I'm, I'm, of course I'm getting the, the Mario RPG remake. I, I'm excited for it. I think it's gonna be great. <laughs> Every day I send you a Connect 4 invite on Facebook. Can't we just, like, play it, like, in real life? Can't you just, like, come over, drive, drive from wherever the fuck you live, and just, just play it here on my doorstep? Connect 4 stream. Okay, now that's an idea. That's a fucking idea. Tabletop sim stream? Play play Connect 4, play play fucking Candyland, play shoots and ladders. Mm. 
Now you must hasten to the Yarna Desert. The dark, monstrous inhabitants of the sand will show you the way. Hoot hoot. Okay. Clubhouse game, more like cuck house game. You know, I, I was talking about that game the other day with some friends. Fucking clubhouse games? That game seems fun. I would, uh, I'd play it. I, I, it might be a decent investment, honestly, for, like, whenever I have people over. You know, it's just, like, a little party game. Because it's up to four players, I believe. So it's, like, I, that might not, not be a bad thing just to have on your Switch for whenever people are, people are around. And you want to do something. I don't know. Let's play action figures in tabletop sim. Yeah, let's just play pretend. That's a great idea. Hey, what's this little cave over here? I just realized. And fuck, and fucking behind Richard's house. There's like a little cave over here. What is that? Oh, that- Okay, you, you come out through there. That makes sense. That's just D&D. No, D&D is for nerds. Action- Playing- Playing pretend action figures is for cool people. D&D is epic. It actually is pretty cool. I like D&D. Honestly, I just don't have many outlets to play it at the moment. I, I there was a there was a like a D&D campaign I was doing a while back uh, with some friends, some real life friends, like about a year ago. That uh, we got really busy with finals and then we all graduated. So then I just kind of never really we never really picked it back up again. Uh, but it was it was game themed if you can believe it because we were all world dor dorks and the the premise was like we were all like different archetypes from different video games one of one person was like a point and click like knight like a medieval knight point and click adventure guy and that was cute there was a uh like a like a a survival horror game character we had uh what else there was oh one of them was a fucking like a like an anime girl dating sim character that was just like very uh amb ambiv amb ah. what is the word oblivious I was trying to get I was trying to combine amb ambivalent and oblivious in my head into amblivious uh and then I was a uh I was a classic mascot platformer duo I was like a mouse. A cool mouse that could like curl up into a ball and like jump around and i had a little a little baby dinosaur on my backpack that could spit fire and it was very fun all of our movesets were like tailored to that too to like what we were able to why oh my god i have the fucking i have the band equipped not the rocks feather that's my bad dude okay <laughs> okay cool very cool I'm doing a D&D campaign right now. It's fun playing. It's fun. I just wish I had people to do it with, truthfully. It's like I do. I probably could get one together. It's just so much work. And it's also like, I don't... I like. I would like the idea of DMing, but I also don't like the idea of DMing. That seems like a lot of work. I don't know. Let me see here. Okay. So. There we go. That's how you do it. The only reason I care about D&D is Adventure Time. Was there a D and D Adventure Time episode? I don't remember. It's been a minute since I've watched it. I like I watched it all at the during the height of the pandemic, but it's try again from the start. What the fuck? Oh, th it's this one. Go this way. Right, right, right. This is the fucking sign for us. Right. Okay. This way. Go this way. I forgot about this. Adventure Time was inspired by D and D. Really? Okay. Go this way. 
there was card wars, but not really D&D. &D. That's what I thought, yeah. Oh, fuck, you need the, you need, okay, you need the hook shot to do this. Never mind. Fuck that. How do I get out of here? I don't think there's anything over here other than this, so I gotta go back. Those moblins kidnapped the Bow Wow. That's true. They did do that. Luckily, I saved them. But for you, you gotta go do that shit. Sorry. Okay, I think I know. I know how to get there. It's just we gotta go the long way around. While I'm here. How much- how many bombs? Okay, I got almost enough, so that's fine. Oh shit, wait, there's actually something I can get here, if I remember correctly. There's, uh, this house over here, right? Yeah, look at this. Let's go to sleep. Okay, now I can... Guys, I really want to play Pikmin 4. That's been on my mind. Oh, just 100 rupees for all this? Damn. I thought that would have been for more. Okay. Uh, I mean, I'll take it. I need to get a bow, so... Good to start saving up now. But, no, um, Pikmin 4 is, like, two weeks away. And I, I didn't think that I would get to this point where I was, like... Like, anticipating it so much. I thought that I would have been able to wait. But I, I clearly can't. This is why I didn't want to play the demo in the first place. Because I knew that if I played that demo, I would have gotten excited about it. I would have gotten too excited, and now I, I just I just can't wait for it. I need I need that game in my hands. It's kind of the, the one thing that's keeping me going right now. That's a lie. There's plenty of things keeping me going, but it's it is it is a pretty big big fixture of my life right now. Isn't that a little sad? I think it's kind of sad. I need more shit to look forward to. Like, you know, how about some, like, good world news to look forward to? Like, like maybe, maybe the president could be like, hey guys, we fixed it. We fixed our problems. No more problems. I think that would be some pretty good news. Or what if he was like, hey guys, no more evil. We're, ba we're banning evil. That'd be pretty good news. Or what if he was like, Hey guys. I just, I hope you're having a good day. Hello. And that's all he says. <laughs> good world news. Lol. True. I actually feel like I, I, I've seen some of the opposite on my timeline lately. It's not been great. Things have not been great. But alas. Alright, oh, there's like a secret merchant or something here. I don't remember what you're supposed to do there. But good to know. Okay. I don't know how much of the side sh shit I'm gonna do in this game. I'm probably just gonna brute force it until I beat it. Admittedly, because, uh, that just seems like a lot of extra work, especially in a game that's, like, a little bit more obtuse and harder to keep track of than the, than the remake. I saved Bow Wow. Good for you. Excellent work. Uh... Okay. Oh, fuck those things, right? The penises that shock you. I forgot about those guys. S 
So for this staircase, do I... I think I just can... Hmm. I'm pretty sure I can make the jump. The problem is the, the, the grass over there. There's a way to make that jump. I just don't remember how. Oh shit. Seashell. Uh, is this the point where I have to start doing the uh, the fetch quest all the way through? It might be, honestly. Admittedly, I don't know how much longer I'll go. I mean, it's one- we're about an hour and a half in. I'll, I'll go for another 30 minutes at least. Uh, just gonna have to see. I, I mean, ideally I would like to get two dungeons done per, uh, per stream, but I don't know how, how realistic that is, especially as we get further into the game. Might just be a long one. A long stream. Not like a long stream, but like a long- a long series, you know? Is this the way? I mean, I'm going somewhere. Just might as well figure it out. What's handy about the overworld is that if you go somewhere, it will it will go on your map. So I will know if I've been place. What are you? I bet this is a seashell. Yeah, look at that. So these were not in the, uh, the DX version, right? Or the, the original version. I actually don't know what content is and isn't. Maybe, maybe they are in the original. It was the, the photos and some other shit. The color dungeon. Uh, there's a couple things they added to the DX version. I don't know... But I, I don't- honestly, I've never even played- I've never even touched the original Game Boy version. I'm pretty sure they don't- they don't even, like, port it anywhere anymore because this game- this one is just, like, a superior version of the game. And it also has, like, game-breaking bugs, I believe. Okay, here we go. Fuck this maze. I don't want to deal with that right now. I want to go to Animal Village. Where is Animal Village? It's like down, I think. Fucking goddamn it. I hate getting shocked by the penis. Here we go. This is my favorite area in the damn game. Ah. Uh, huh. On such a nice day, we need a song from Marin. Okay. Oh yeah, I guess I gotta go talk to Marin and have her come with me. Right? Is that is that what it I think that's what I gotta do. Yarna Desert? There's a way to get there to the south, but you might not be able to get through if that lazy walrus is in the way. Yeah, I need Marin for this. I gotta go talk to Marin to do a bunch of shit over here. Is that a bunne? Yeah, this is the animal village. Es uh, crocodile. Hello, sir. Can I talk to you? Yeah, I'm Shule Donovich. The mermaid statue by the bay is my masterpiece to tell you the truth. This work is not complete. The art, it's difficult for you to grasp, is it not? That's true. You, I mean, you haven't painted anything yet. What, what do I- I got a stick. I don't know what I give the stick to. Go away. Okay. Sorry. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Hey, did you know the Animal Village and Mabe Village are sister cities? Yes, even though they aren't large enough to be called cities. Anyway, I have heard from a very good source that they have a dream, shrine, and mabe, 
and that it has something good inside. I already, I already got that. I already went there. You don't know the proper etiquette when dealing with a lady, do you? You should have brought flowers or something. Then I might be more inclined to talk with you. Okay, I'm sorry. I can get you a flower maybe, but I need I need to figure out what to do with stick. Who wants stick? Maybe dog, perhaps? But I already talked to dog. Hmm, conundrum. I can't go to Mabe Village because of all the monsters. I hope Marin is alright. They they love Marin over here, it seems. It seems to be quite popular. Modern Zelda would never have an alligator with an accent. Genuinely. They would never have a fucking Baker Bear. This is why Nintendo is cowards. Because they don't do shit like this anymore. Rick and Rackham. I ran out of ingredients. If I had honey, I could make this fit for a king. Oh, fuck. You know what? I think I... Yeah, I gotta go to the... Um... Oh, it doesn't... I doesn't show it anywhere. Where's the beehive? The beehive was like around here somewhere. Maybe it was shop, okay. What is it? That's the graveyard. Where is the picto is this the pictograph box? I think that the beehive is just or just by the camera place. That's a long way to go. There's not like a an, an intricate fast travel system. In this, in this one, unfortunately, like there is in uh, the first game. Or in the remake. Good good god, I can't speak. Okay. Oh wait, shit, no, there, there is, kind of. Kind of. There's only a few, few points, though, I believe. Entrance to Yarna Desert. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta get, uh, Ma uh Marin to, to wake, wake them up. So... Okay. Okay. Oh fuck, what am I- how do I do that? Is it like timing? Cause the problem is, is that bombs- I mean I guess you can like... Got it, okay. Hmm. Does that work? I don't think that's how that works. There's something you gotta do there. I don't remember what you do, but I can't do it yet. Okay. Hmm. Man, I feel like me fucking ranting for 30 for 40 minutes at the beginning of the stream like just like took all the energy out of me i gotta pace myself better in the future <laughs> I, I like i also kind of had just had low energy for most of today anyways i don't know what it was i got a full eight hours and then i like okay go back to sleep for for a big nap big big hour long nap so you know I gotta do something about- I gotta get hearts. That's a big thing. So this beeping stops. And also I gotta do fetch quest stuff. Chat, what's your favorite, like, what's your fucking, uh, what are you having for dinner? <laughs> that's all- I already asked that. Yeah, but that's pretty much what it's been like. Okay. Getting across to the fucking uh, other side of this river is kind of a pain in the ass when you don't have the hook shot. Oops. Well, that's fine. 
Where's it gonna put me? Okay, that's fine. You guys have any weird dreams lately? I had a dream not too, like, yesterday, day before yesterday, I want to say, where uh, I was at the zoo, and for some reason, I, the, I, I just remember seeing, like, a, a crying child, just a crying, a, 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 a small child who had an ice cream cone in hand, and uh, just was not having a good time, and they just, they just really wanted to leave. They were just crying like, I don't like being here. I, I, I hate this dinosaur park. It wasn't a, sorry, it wasn't a zoo. It was a dinosaur park. It had like, it was a dinosaur themed zoo, I guess. But they didn't have like real dinosaurs. I don't know how to describe it. But I, I just remember the whole time I was there. I just like couldn't, couldn't concentrate because this child was crying. And I felt so bad for it. I felt so much, so much empathy for this poor child. Who just wasn't enjoying themselves and that that makes me so sad childhood is so sacred and child ch child need to enjoy stuff you know also uh i my boyfriend was like going through all the pictures on my phone and like selecting them all like he was just like he was like mass selecting them and i was like stop selecting my pictures on my phone and this was on top of the crying child so i was very irritated i was very like overwhelmed there were multiple things happening, and it just- I wasn't happy about any of it. What do you think that means, chat? Can you psychoanalyze that dream for me? What do you think that, uh... represents? Okay, I'm gonna talk to Uhara. Or, Ohara? How do you ever say his name? This is Ulrira, Urethra. In the Yarna Desert, which is located in the southeast of the island, you will find something called the Angler Key. How much more obvious do I have? Well, okay, I can't get in there. I'm gonna go talk to Marin. Maybe she'll help me. I think you're scared of the zoo. Maybe so. I like the zoo, though. I like going to the zoo. Zoo's a fun time. Hey, what's up, buddy? Oh, here's the... Okay. Pink, I see you have a nice stick. Can I borrow it? Sure. Yeah, take it. Thank you. Thanks for helping me out, Mario. I, I kind of needed. Dude, what the fuck are you doing? That's embarrassing. Okay, I don't know what I'd do with this. Honeycomb. Maybe by next stream I should look up... Uh... What what order the the fetch quest is? I feel kind of bad for him. Yeah, me too. A little. I mean, he's like a fake fake character made of pixels, so I don't feel that bad. I feel a little bad. I felt more bad for the child, the crying child, in my dream. I think there is nothing more sad than, like, a crying child at, like, fucking Disneyland or something like that. Like, a, a crying child, a child that is unhappy at a place where a child should never be unhappy. You know what I mean? Where it's like, oh, man, your parents worked so hard to fucking get this day set up for you so you'd have a good time. You're just so sad. That's the worst. That's awful, dude. I'm so sorry. I don't think that's fair. I don't think life is fair. I cried when I saw the bees chase him. Yeah. More rupees, I guess. Ta we'll, we take them. So is this like a map? I think it's because I only have two of them activated, which is why. Oh wait, what the fuck? I don't know. Is I don't know. I could come here. Okay. I didn't even go in it. It's the crazy thing. But it activated it. I guess because I I got on the same screen as it. But okay, good to know. 
I can get over there quickly now, at least. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna do... Let's see here. You know what? Fuck it. Let, let's try and get this, this, uh, this trading quest done. Link's Awakening Trading Quest. So where does the honey go? Yoshida, ribbon, dog food, bananas, stick, honeycomb. Okay. Uh, yeah, pineapple. You'll need the Pegasus boots. Okay, grab the honeycomb and head- Oh, I gotta go to the bear. I gotta go talk to bear. That's right, because he's a bear and he likes honey. That makes sense. Okay, I can do that. Just do the scrimp, sh the scrimp skip. It's the way. That's true. I never considered the scrimp skip, but that's a good idea. Okay, here we go. I'm surprised there's just not like a menu that you can go like it just shows the map because that's how it works in the remake but i guess game boy just not not powerful enough sorry is that possibly a b you have yes take it okay i got pineapple so we do pineapple then we tall tall heights on the way to angler's tunnel the fourth dungeon Papal, feed him the pineapple. Oh, I gotta go to the mountain to do that? Okay. Maybe I can't do this yet. Maybe I actually have to... I have to wait until I... Uh, I'm just gonna go talk to Marin. But it's good that we made a little, a little bit of progress. Okay. I know that Tabugu is asleep right in the way to Yarna Desert. Once he's asleep, he won't budge for a long time. But hey, take little Marin and wake him up with her song. Slob would wake up with a jump if he heard her sing, for sure. Okay, thank you for the advice. Who is this NPC? That's, uh, that's Big Bear. Big, Big Bear Baker. Baker Bear. That's his name. I didn't know bears actually liked honey. I thought that was a thing made up for like cartoons and stuff. Do they? I I don't know if they do or not. See, it seems plausible. I feel like that's plausible. I love old games just having a sleeping character blocking the path. Yeah, what what's up with that? Why is that such a common tra trope in video games, huh? Okay, um, Marin. What's up, girl? Where'd you- Where the fuck you go? Oh, I gotta go to beach. That's where Marin is. Marin's at beach. Oh. Oh, shit. It's a picture time. Plays with Bow Wow. I'll get closer to Bow Wow. Okay. Pink, get closer. This is fucked up. It clearly, it doesn't want to play with you. I like this Link. He's very funny looking. Oh, shit! <laughs> that was a, a fucked up looking Link. The chibi, little chibi Link. Oh, yeah, shit, there's a fishing game. I'll charge you only 10 rupees. I'll play it once. Why not? Okay, let's fish. Yeah, I know how to play. Press the A button to repeat. Okay. Oh shit, wait, wait, wait. That one got away. Hold on, I, I need to- Maybe I should have read a little closer to how you play. That, that might have been- Okay. How, how do I play? Fish. Here's how you do it. Use- Okay, on the to aim and cast. Yep. Once you hook a fish, press the button- The What button? The A button? The B button? Okay, here we go. You just gotta- you gotta fucking mash that thing. It's a runt! 
Oh, just like me. I'll only give you five rupees. Okay. Yeah, I know how to play. I'm gonna get this big guy down here. Come here. Come here. Damn, dude. Okay, I'm I, I'm sick of this. Goodbye. I, I don't have I don't have the fishing gene to do this well. My friend Val fucking loves to fish. I don't understand it. I mean, I do understand it. I understand the zen of it, but I don't know how to fish. I don't know how to do it well. I just don't got the the survival the survivalist instinct, you know. If I were put out in the woods for like three days, I would be dead. It would it would be over for me immediately. Do you want to read this book? Yes. New world of color under the five gravestones. Three. F oh fuck! Right. This is okay. We'll do this later. This is how you get to the the secret dungeon. I might I might do the secret dungeon. We'll see how I'm feeling. Wonder what the world of color is. Pinky gray. How did you do that? How did you make Pinky have no color? Wendy waking up in the middle of the woods like, oh, it's so fucking Jover. Literally. It would, it would, it would not go well for me. Gray abilities. I didn't know that was a thing you could do with Twitch emotes. To just make them completely grayscale like that. That's fascinating. You're quite talented. Okay, here we go. This is where Marin is, right? What's up? Oh, Pink, I'm glad you found this place. Will you stay and talk to me for a while? Ugh, gross. Fine. Yeah, okay. I actually really like this little moment. I wonder where these coconut trees come from. Karen says there is nothing beyond the sea. But I believe there must be something over there. When I discovered you, Pink, I heard skip the beat. I thought this person has come to give us a message. If I was a seagull, I would fly as far as I could. I would fly to the faraway places and sing for many people. If I wish to the windfish, I wonder if my dream will come true. Are you listening to me? Yeah, I am. I want to know everything about you. Or, uh, ha 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 ha. Wow, you're such a dork. Wow. That was, that was like a loser moment. You should feel bad. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is a sweet little moment. I genuinely like this part of the game a lot. Like, I don't know. I mean, it's not that much of a spoiler at this point. I I'm just not going to say it just in case, but like... The, the, what Marin wants in this game is very, is very potent to the overall theme of it. The desire for something more than the, the confines of your world. I, I just, I don't know. This game is so compact and so small, and yet it has an identity in what it wants to say. And I think that's really cool. And back to the fucking, making this conversation go full circle. Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom don't got shit to say. They don't have anything thematically interesting to say. They don't have- they're just like- they're just kind of- I mean, I will say Breath of the Wild has like some kind of interesting shit about the Calamity. It's kind of got a post-apocalypse vibe going on. That's kind of fun. Uh, Tears of the Kingdom is just like Ganondorf wants to fucking kill everything. And that's it. That's all it's got. I don't know. I just wish- I, I feel like for a game that like is- so putting so much budget into telling like these these elaborate cutscenes and storylines that you would think that they would put more thought into what they actually want the story to be about it's kind of strange just a strange little thing Marin got hops she's kind of a babe look at that sprite i <laughs> i think i think these are both these are both like children but yeah they're cute I, th I think Marin and Link are very cute together. Marin's adorable. I like Marin a lot. Her sprite is very cute. 
Uh, let's see. How do I get across with her? Because if I go this way... Fuck. Okay, I gotta... I think I gotta go the long way around. I'm sure they didn't know. You know. I feel like I've definitely made shit like that before, where it's like, Oh, man! What a babe! And it's like, oh, wait, nope, nope, nope. Can't say that one. Oops. She's a little orange blob, exactly. Like, how are you fucking supposed to know? How are you supposed to know? I get it. <laughs> What's up? How's it going, Joey? We're on a date right now. So please be cool. Please don't embarrass me on this date, guys. I really want to impress Marin. I gotta impress her with my cool jumps. Watch this. Marin, watch this. Are you impressed? Well, you can do it too. Are you impressed? I'm impressed. Fuck. Alright, everyone. Tell your most embarrassing fact about Wendy M. Are we playing this game? Oh, fuck. You guys got so much dirt on me. I feel like this would be a very easy thing to, to, to share. Uh-oh. I look at the camera like I'm in the office. Uh-oh. I gotta replay this game. You should. If you're gonna replay it, if you haven't ever played it, I recommend playing, uh, the remake. Great. Love the remake. Most embarrassing fact about 1DM is that, uh, I'm fucking sweaty right now. That's the most embarrassing thing. Yeah, I own the remake. Honestly, I've, I've beaten the remake, like, twice. I, I could go for round three. At some point. Maybe maybe not right after playing this, but I wanna I wanna replay it. I love that remake. It's a good remake. Wendy circumstantially set me up with my weird ex. Wait, really? How did I set you up with your weird ex? That's interesting. Wendy created the concepts of Melvin and Barry. Yes, very those are very embarrassing. Very embarrassing secret that I that I created those those two. Will you come with me? Doesn't look like you're oh no you are. Cool. Well let's just go. I love Marin's model in the remake. She looks so cute in the clay model style. Yeah, no, she does. I like her little blue dress. I like I like I like how simple hold on. I'm gonna hand let me hand you something. A, a very treasured uh, a treasure item. Hang on. I, imagine me, imagine me cupping this in my hands and then opening up my hands and handing this to you. Okay? Just picture this. Picture this, this idea. Where is it? There it is. Imagine holding this in the palm of your hands. What would you do? Do not squish her. Please do not squish her. Goodbye. Wait, 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 wait. Actually, hold on. How do I squish? No, no, no. Can I, like, unlock it? Can I unlock the transformation? How do I, like, make it so it doesn't... How I can squish it? I want to squish it. I want to squish it. How do I squish it? Hold on. Uh, uh, transform. Oh, God. Edit transform. Here we go. Here we go. Squished. Oh, fuck! It's, it's dead now! Get out of here. Okay. <laughs> Hell, what's up, Lee Worst Gowner? Man, that... The the blue text is kind of hard to read on, on uh, OBS. Interesting. How's it going? Uh, so where is the walrus? It's, like, over here? I gotta go around, I think. Can't believe you'd squish your date. Look, I have no investment in this in this freak. I just I just want Link to be happy. Put her on a tiny pedestal and squish her. True. Oh fuck, I got shocked. This is a very bad uh, first impression. 
Oh god, Baron, it would be so embarrassing if I died in front of you. I don't know what I would do. How do I get down there? Like this? No, that's the- okay, I go- I go this way. When do you used to have a previous Discord server where people would play TF2? Oh yeah, that's right! It's kind of like- it was kind of like the prototype of my current Discord server a little bit. I ended up deleting it because I didn't really- I just kind of got a little bit nervous about having all that power, and now I'm just doing the same thing, but for some reason I don't really care as much. It doesn't bo doesn't bother me as much as I used to, I guess. I mean, you're not squishing her. You're squishing a 3D model of her from 20-something years in the future. That's true, actually. If we really wanted to squish her, we would have to take the sprite. We have to isolate the sprite and squish her. You grew as a person. I, I wouldn't call it that, I guess. If anything, my ego inflated. <laughs> You've gotten bolder, perhaps. Perhaps. <laughs> Caveman be like, you've gotten boulder. Lol. Me, me pick up boulder and throw it. Look at this guy go. But yeah, I, I guess... That's right, you you were in my previous Discord, and you did me make some friends there. I, I did, did you actually ever end up dating anyone there? That's actually a little surprising. Maybe I knew that at some point, but I definitely forgot it. She's singing. True. It's the same as always. I'm going to the animal village. Please drop by, okay? Alright. See you later. That was a short date. She just wanted to see the fucking walrus. That's such a bummer. Link, I'm sorry, man. Link, you should... You should become gay despite her. I don't- that- why was that the first thing that I- that I thought of? Why was that the first thing that crossed my damn mind? I'm a freak. <laughs> Every girl wants to see the walrus. I mean, yeah, who doesn't, okay? Everybody wants to see the walrus. Oh shit, Becky. Got it. The walrus- the walrus did not die. He was- he went into the fucking water. He's- he's breathing. He's fine. That's what they do. Are you here, Marin? Oh, look at that. She's got, like, an audience. It seems to be totally absorbed in Marin's song. I like this guy. This little bird. Pee-pee-poo-poo. -poo. What's up, Adam? I am the Eggman, I am the Walrus, goo 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 -joob. I think that when Beatles wrote that song, they were talking about their favorite video game characters. They were talking about Eggman from Sonic, and they were talking about Walrus from this game. They love the Walrus from Link's Awakening. <laughs> okay, um... What the fuck am I doing here? I gotta... let's figure this out. There's just fucking Pokies in this game, too, by the way. It's just Pokies from Mario Brothers. If you were a time traveler, which famous person's toilet would you shit in? Um... Hmm... That's so hard. Probably like... Shakespeare. Mainly because I'd be interested to see what, what Shakespeare's house would like, was like. Like, I would be, like, I would be at Shakespeare's house, he would have, like, invited me over, 
and he would be like, I would be like, hey, can I use your bathroom real quick? And then I would take the opportunity to fucking, like, explore his whole home and look at all of his belongings and be like, this is the type of man you were? You were a freak, Shakespeare? Okay. I mean, you kind of made that obvious from, from your writing, but, you know, I just it's good to confirm it, I guess. I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. I, <laughs> I'm running out of material. Uh, what am I doing in here? Do I dig? I can't seem to dig anywhere. Maybe it's a bomb? Do I have to bomb something? Don't say Elvis. <laughs> Just be careful with the date on that one. That's funny. Lol. Now that's funny. If you could steal one famous person's work, who would you pick? Fuck, that's a really good question. Um, Da Vinci. Leonardo Da Vinci. Because then I could be like, I'm the one who created flying. Look, here's my books. See, I signed this back in fucking, I, back in a million years ago. I, I made, I made the first plane. Fuck you. And then everybody would be like, well, looks like Wendy Tanuki Tales on Twitter made the first uh, flying plane. So, yeah. That's what the news anchor would say when they saw me. They would be a little bit impressed. Leonardo the Ninja Turtle. Yeah. Sea bears, foam, sleep bears, dreams. Both ends in the same way. Crash. What the fuck does that mean? What is that? Hold on. Sea bears, foam, sleep bears, dreams. Both end in the same way. Crash. Is, is this like a hint? Annoyance. You are only getting in the way. Oh fuck, it's this thing. That's right, I gotta fight Big Worm real quick. Thoughts on Big Worm? I think this guy's kind of an asshole, truthfully. Return of Neener. This is not Neener. This is a different character. This character's name is, uh... It doesn't have a name. I decided. No name for this character. Not worth my time. Not worth the effort. This character's name Annoyance. That is true. That's what he said first. So that could be it. Fuck, I'm gonna die again. Never mind. I'm not gonna die. I'm gonna stay alive forever. I'm never gonna die, actually. So, yeah. Wait. What the hell? It, like, fell. I, I had it for a second, but it, like, fell. What do I do? Oh. There we go. Okay, now I, now I can go into the angler dungeon. I don't know where that actually is, though. What is this? Oh, this is scary. I don't like this. This is actually a gif. There's like, it's like a moving gif of Dr. Baby Wario. But I, I already don't like this enough. I don't need that on my screen. Thank you, though. Thank you for the submission. Thank you for the art submission. Big Worm was better in Sonic Mania. True. Was there a Big Worm in that game? I honestly don't fucking remember. <laughs> Oops. Wario is so smart, he stole a PhD as a one-year-old. Yeah, I think that's probably what happened. I think that those babies are fucking frauds. I don't believe that they have a doctor's degree. I think that they- I think that there is corruption in the- in the- the medical industry in the Mario world. Much like there's corruption in our own medical industry. Mario's universe holds a lot of the same- similar problems as we. We just are, are less disposed to their, their colorful aesthetics. We don't really think about it too hard. But you gotta think about it. It's your duty to think about it. There's a big worm in all games. There's a big worm in most games. 
The shape of the key shows the, a fish swimming up a cascade of water. Go now to the mountain waterfall. A leap from the top and you will reach your goal. Okay. The waterfall. I gotta go to Tall Tall Heights, I'm pretty sure. Miyamoto writing the first Mario game. What about the politics of the Mushroom Kingdom? That's so true, though. I feel like world building was at the front of Miyamoto's mind when he when he created those brothers. It was only when they finally made the movie that they were able to they were able to pay that off, you know. Uh, let's see. Where now? I guess we go to the mountain. That's the obvious answer, but. Which Mario brother gives the best head? We've been over this. They are not sexual beings. They do not sex. They do not have sex. At least Mario doesn't. Jury is out on Luigi. I don't know what that what that man is up to. I don't know what his life is like, but who knows? I don't want to know who gives the best head. That's not that's not my prerogative. It's my prerogative to uh kill kill things with my sword and uh, throw bombs and uh, shoot arrows and push blocks. That is my that is my job right now. I don't think I should be here yet. I think I gotta go to the mountains. Oh, shit. That's a long way to go. Hmm. I'm, I'm feeling... I, I think I'm gonna wrap up soon. Admittedly. Feeling a little off my game. But alas. We'll at least get, like, up closer to the mountain, though. I want to find the fucking guy that we need to give the, the pineapple to. I wonder what's for dinner. Joshua, that's, like, the only thing you've posted in here, and I really respect your dedication to this bit. Holy peggers. Says someone in chat. Oh, fuck. I should take the warp. I don't know why I'm not taking the warp. But whatever. It's too late now. I left but came back, actually. Well. I thought it was funny. Gay Arlo? I'm sorry? What did you just post? <laughs> oh no. Oh god. This is bad. This is bad news, guys. Fucking Arlo is not gonna be happy. Arlo will not be happy. Arlo's gonna be really upset. The third Arlo brother. <laughs> Yeah, there's red Arlo, there's, there's blue Arlo, and then there's gay Arlo. <laughs> Defeated Genie and got the conch horn. Shit, isn't that like the fucking second dungeon? You're you're schmoovin'. You're getting, going real fast with the pops. I'm impressed. Good work. Put it on Discord. You heard you heard the man. Put Gay Arlo on Discord. I'm gonna go up through the woods. I could have just fucking warped. I don't know what I was thinking, but I wanna go through the woods because there's some shit. There's like a heart container that I can get. And I need I think I just need one more, right? Does it not show my heart container progress? Where is that? Select. Oh here we go. Look at that. Okay, yeah, I need one more. Put that damn thing away.
This game is chill. When you're just like going around the overworld, it's like a little, it's a little uh, monotonous to, to get around places, but that kind of makes it very, uh, I don't know. I use the word zen a lot to describe games like this, but I don't think it's inaccurate. Just like chilling, looking around. Oh shit, I can get this. What's in here? There's actually probably a lot of shit in this forest I can get now. Stop. You're gonna kill me. Very feng shui, as they say. I don't think they say that. But they could. I could be wrong. It's very... But in a good way. Yeah, it's like, it's like, puts you to sleep. I hope that my goal with my streams is to put you to sleep. That is what I'm always trying to do when I stream. To, to get everyone in this chat to fall asleep. Okay. What's in here? Is this fucking- this is definitely hookshot. Damn it, okay. Um... Well, there's like at least a cave over here, right? Not you. Where are you? Where's the damn cave? Wendy Nyquil Tanuki Tails. Yeah, that's my middle name. That's what they call me. Oh, there it is. I need this. This heart piece over here. Look at that. Full piece. That's gonna be handy. Okay. Now we can go up to the mountain. I want to at least get to this dungeon. I don't think it's that far. Hmm. You're ultra healthy now. True. What's in here? Oh shit, more shit I can get. Okay, good, good, good. That's good news. I like how there's just, like, not a wallet upgrade in this game. You, you can just get up to 999 rupees from the start. How loud does Link piss? Hmm. I think very quietly. Music, the fish stirs, and the egg, you are there. Okay. How do I get up here? Fuck, do I have to go from the- have I been walk- did I walk or take a big loop around for it not to even matter? I have to go the other way? Hang on. Hang on just a second. I don't think that's the case. But I can't like get through here without the damn dog, can I? Or maybe not. Oh no, look at this. This is fine. Okay, uh... Ganondorf pisses loud as fuck and he's proud of it. Yeah, Ganondorf is like fucking... It, it sounds like two concrete blocks hitting each other when, when his piss makes contact with the concrete.
His piss crackles like an explosion when he when he fucking lets it loose. When he lets that nasty thing rock. That's why they call him Calamity Ganon. True. Oh, am I here? I'm on I'm in Mountain World. I always remember the mountains, like, navigating the mountains in this game being a huge pain in the ass. Fuck. Uh-oh. How am I gonna do this? I hate these guys. Sometimes I just, like, am not on the right tile to kill them. Okay. So I do that. Fuck. Oh god. Okay. Do that. Do this. Do that. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Cheering him on. Let that shit rock, G. A stadium of people want fucking Ganondorf to do nothing else. How do I get over there? Ah, it doesn't matter. Now what am I supposed to do here? Is this- this is another classic case of hookshot. I need the hookshot real bad. I'll be honest, I didn't really like Tears of the Kingdom. It feels more like DLC for Beth Breath of the Wild than a new game. Damn, we're back on this again. Yeah, no, we had a big discussion about uh, Tears of the Kingdom earlier. It's... Yeah, I don't know what to make of it. It just was kind of... At best, it was fine. It was enjoyable. I can't go this way. Uh, at worst, it really just did nothing for me. In fact, it, it just it just generally did not do much for me. It didn't do anything that Breath of the Wild didn't already do, to some extent. I even thought, like, honestly, I thought most of the new characters were pretty, were pretty boring. Like, every character added to Tears of the Kingdom that wasn't already in Breath of the Wild, with the exception of the little bird guy, I like the bird. What's his name? Tulin? I like Tulin. Tulin's a real one. Tulin gets a pass, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. Other guys I was not. Just, most of them I just didn't really care about. Mickey Mouse is in this game. What do you mean? He's in this? Why? Why is Mickey Mouse here? Did they get the... Did Disney give them permission? This could be a, a serious legal issue. That freak on the cliff? I didn't see him. Oh, you're probably talking about the fucking rat that, that takes pictures, right? I assume that's what you mean. Okay, this is not going to do anything. I gotta go another way. Is this the way to the windfish? I think it is. No. Okay. Hmm. Okay, not here. Is there, like, another way up, maybe? Oh, here we go. Right, the waterfall. Owl said something about a waterfall. I can do that. Ganondorf's titties are so big, though. That's the thing. Okay, they made Ganondorf in that game so hot. They made him so cool looking. He's got literally his best design he's ever had in the series. In Tears of the Kingdom. And he's just like a, like a completely one-dimensional villain. He has nothing going for him. He's just like, I am evil. I am going to destroy the world. I want everything to die. And that's it. That's all he's got. He could have been so cool and so, like, so multifaceted and sexy. But they just made him sexy only. And that's the worst kind of sexy, to be sexy only. I mean, it's not that bad. I'm only sexy. That's my only defining quality. So I, I guess I guess he and I are wayward souls in that way. Okay. 
they just- they wish they had Wind Waker Ganon again. So fucking true, though. God, Wind Waker Ganon is literally the best Ganon. Just in every way. He's got a great design. He's, like, kind of intriguing. He's got, like, he's kind of a, a morally gray character a little bit. It's- it's perfect. It's excellent. I love Wind Waker Ganon. I just, like, we need a more complicated Ganondorf. We- if- if they're gonna make him a villain, at least make him, like, at least, like, a sympathetic villain or something. Like, just- I'm so sick of Ganondorf, which is, like, one corner of the Triforce, one third of it, being always evil. Just being the embodiment of evil and nothing else. It's a shame that Ganondorf is like that. Apparently people thought that the story would be a lot cooler with Ganon going against the cycle. That's what I wanted. I wanted Ganondorf to fucking, like, actually play a part in the story other than just being, like, a fucking, like, demon. Like, being the, the Satan incarnate, you know? Make him a character, please. It seems like whenever they do Ganon, they just, like, they're too scared to actually play with that idea because, like, he's Ganon. He has to be the villain, right? But it's like, I don't know. I'm so sick of it. I think Ganondorf is, like, one of my favorite Zelda characters, genuinely. I Like, I like his design. I think he's super intriguing. I just wish they they cared about him as much as I care about him. You know? <laughs> Miyamoto hates everyone according to the internet, lol. Apparently Miyamoto hates the Toon Link design. I, yeah, I heard about that. That's interesting to me, because for so long, Link was like just like a little guy. He was just like a little dude. Nothing else. That's all he was. Just a silly little guy. And that, you know, like... I don't know. I don't mind him being like a like an anime pretty boy, like fucking gender non-conforming, like piece of meat. I, I, I like that Link, that interpretation of Link, but uh, oh, you can walk on here. I'm fucking stupid. I didn't realize this was walkable. Uh, but like, I don't know. What's cool about Link is you can interpret him in a number of different ways. That's what makes him so awesome. And so, so, so great. I love the Wind Waker Ganon. Yeah, everybody's in agreement. Wind Waker Ganon is the best Ganon. Miyamoto slapped Sakurai's wife. That's why Mario is angry in Smash. That's- yeah, I've heard that. That was in an Awada Asks, I believe. Link is a cool twink in my mind. Dude, you don't know the half of it. Link- I- I love to project myself onto Link. I think about Link wearing a dress and that just fills me with so much, uh, joy. So much love in my heart. You know? Yeah, take- take my damn pineapple, please. Everyone is a cool twink in my mind. Even me looks at you with big eyes and blinks them. <laughs> Link with a skirt equal glee. True. True, 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 true. Link is everything. We got some Link appreciation in chat. I, I agree. And you know what? Tears of the Kingdom is not a bad game because of Link. That's for sure. Link is perfect in that game. I have no qualms about Link himself. Link is doing a great job. He's just being... He's being not treated well by his, his, his owners. I let psychosis warp my vision so everyone just looks like a twink. That's interesting. That's kind of badass. How do you get that to happen to, to, to you? Can you like make, can you replicate it? Can I, can I do that? Can I have a twink vision, please? Gerudo Link helped me find out. <laughs> so true though, yeah. <laughs> Gerudo Link, like, definitely uh, fucking answered some questions that had been dormant in my fucking little mind. Gerudo Link got me asking the real questions, you know?
What? Fake fit. Why do you say Gerudo? Right, it's Gerudo. Sorry, whatever. I'm always like this. I always pronounce things wrong. It's it's not about how you pronounce a thing. It's about it's about the 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 fucking sauce you say it with. You can get away with pronouncing it anyway if you're if you're cool enough. I mean, I said yoy instead of yaoi. Exactly. I think that's more that's more of a that that's more of an offense. I went in a big circle like three times. God damn it. Professor Gerudo over here. <laughs> What's up, Slurbo? How's it going? Also, the Yiga Clan is the best part of Tears of the Kingdom, are they? I mean, okay, admittedly, I never really did the full Yiga Clan quest line. I'll be, I'll be honest about that. I think I might have to do the... I might have to get the flippers before I can do this dungeon. Uh, but... Like, I, I don't know, I thought they were just kind of fine. I didn't have any qualms with them or anything, but they just kind of seemed like they were more of the same. The Yiga Clan should be in other Zelda games. I agree, I do like the Yiga Clan, I just, you know. Let's see, Pegasus, already got that equipped. It's going fine, how about you? Uh, doing pretty well. I don't know where the fuck to go at the moment. But otherwise, we're just fucking talking about twinks, I guess. I made a blood pact with a talking tree deep in some woods in Yugoslavia. That's how you got your twink vision. I see. Hmm. Wait, what do I- oh, I do this. We always talk about Twinks and other men. Yeah, I mean, it's part of the brand. It's part of the Tanuki Tales brand to talk about those things. My investors would not be happy if I didn't- if I didn't mention, you know, the- the, the usual topics every stream. That's why Arlo always comes up. It's a- it's a financial- uh, it's a financial obligation, you see. I- I have to mention him. Okay, I think I- yeah, I'm just gonna go fucking do the side quest. Because I'm pretty sure I need the flippers to progress here. Contracted to disgust Arlo from coming on the stream. <laughs> yeah, my investors really, really don't want Arlo to be on here. They're like, this is not- this is not your brand. This isn't you. You gotta, you gotta have some dignity, Wendy. For once in your life, have some damn dignity. And I was like, what are you talking about? Fucking Arlo is awesome. You guys are the ones who lack this dignity. And then I got new investors. So I, I don't speak with them anymore. I got, I got different investors after that. Hmm. Uh, hibiscus. I gotta go to Animal Village. That's right. The Frostbite outfit's the best part here's the kingdom. True, though. That's so true, though. Okay. Um... It's the goat lady I gotta talk to for the, the flower, I believe. Hello. Will you listen? Okay. I would like you to take this letter to Mr. Ra- Oh, shit! We're gonna- we're gonna help this man. This man has been so depressed. He's been fucking writing letters to nobody. And he's finally getting a response. I think this is where we're gonna end. After we give it this letter to this man, because I don't know, I just really, I really want him to have a win. Leaked investor talk. 
I will make Arlo both uncomfortable and flustered. Do not do that. <laughs> Please don't. Please don't do that to Arlo. I don't know if Arlo deserves that. One day it's going to happen. I'm serious. I'm going to make it happen. I'm going to somehow get Arlo to come on the stream. It will have to be with the caveat that like, yeah, okay, look, I've... I've said some weird things about you, dude. I'm, I didn't mean to. It just kind of happened. It wasn't like it's. It's not anything. No hard feelings. I'm just, I'm just a little strange, and you're just gonna need to. You're gonna. You're gonna need to ready yourself. Prepare yourself for this chat room. This this Twitch chat. You're gonna get him to do what? What? What did I say? I hope I didn't say anything incriminating. I. Oh fucking god damn it, this This clip. Arlo will come to me. Yeah. Oops. Oops! Oh no! Now he's never gonna wanna get on the stream now. It's that ship is so far sailed. I just like I, I have I, I feel like I had some genuine like some genuine like worry and embarrassment like man. Arlo is definitely, like, I, I can't be talking bad about Arlo, but, like, it's just so, the toll is so deeply dug at this point. It's just not, it's not coming up. Oh, fuck. I look like this, IRL. Her name is Chris Jean, by the way. Mmm, she's so beautiful. I must give you something for your trouble. Well, it looks like all I have is this brew. How'll that be, Okay. Yeah, okay, I'll take that. What a babe. True. Uh, I don't know what to do with the broom. Dude's fucking, like, over- head over heels for this woman. Where's the- the- okay, letter. Yeah, broom. Fishing hook. Mermaid's necklace. Do I need the flippers? I think I might need the flippers for this. How do I get the flippers? Oh, I gotta go to the fourth dungeon. Okay, fuck. So I do have to do the fourth dungeon. Alright, we're just gonna call it then. Thank you guys for coming out and hanging out. Uh, Talked about some 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 good good topics today. A lot of Zelda. Uh, uh, more twinks than usual, which is saying something. Lots of twink talk. Uh, Yeah, I'm just gonna save state, I guess. Let's see. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's see. Damn, I just got here. I'm sorry. I've been going for about two and a half hours. That's usually how long I go. That's my bad. Appreciate it, though. Also, Josh, we still gotta play Terraria, bud. That'd be fun. Would be funny. Okay, uh, let's see. Any art at all? Oh, fuck. Actually, I have a few things to show. <laughs> this is from the other day. This was drawn by Pac-Man himself, by the way. This is a picture of me sleeping with baby Yoda. Little little Lego Yoda plush. You know what's fucked up? You want to see something fucked up? Hold on. Hold on, this is going to take some prep. Where is he? Here he is. Look at this. Where even is my sources? Do I not? Oh, I shit, right. My video capture. Here we go. Okay. Do you see this? This is real. This is him. It's, it looks showing up, right? Yeah, there it is. Look at it. I have one of these. It's real. It's actual, right? But yeah, okay. We're done. <laughs> Yoda. True. <laughs> Put it in the microwave next time. Next time, I promise. Okay. Uh I'm gonna go shower by. See you, Wendy. Alright, yeah, take care. Oh, the moppy thing. That's right. That's right. There was a, a, a dancing moppy. Check this out. How do I 
let's see, let me add it. Image. Browse. Where did it go? You just put it in documents, I think. Where did I save this to? This is very scattered. Oh, it was in my fucking thumbnails folder. That's not where that goes. Okay, this was also from Pops. It's Moppy. <laughs> fucking going crazy. And the Sneeple Invasion. Ah, uh, those are just edits of comics. I mean, I can show them real quick. <laughs> oh, you made a you made like a little a little comic with Moppy characters. You've done a lot of art recently. You put you put like the fucking Sneeple in a bunch of a bunch of my comics. Let me show them the Moppy art because that's actually really cute. Let me find it. Uh, here it is. There's like a full comic to this. It's in my Discord, but I really think this is cute. This is Moppy and Broomer and uh, Richard and Steeple. They're all they're all friends. It's wonderful. Moppy be droppy that mega dumpy. <laughs> Moppy, stop it. I like Sneeple. I feel like Sneeple is is he fits in with this cast quite well. Oh yeah, okay. I think I'm gonna get going now. Uh I yeah, I don't have much else to say. Thank you guys for dropping by. Appreciate it. Alright, see you later.